Hey guys, this is Kerob speaking, and today we're back in Pro Cycling Manager 2018 with Nicolas Sivenson, who is on stage number 20, like the last proper stage of the Giro d'Italia, struggling his little heart out, and man, what a brutal, brutal race this has been so far. Holy shit. Okay, we are currently sitting in third, with basically no chance on second, unless... Kwiatkowski has a bad day in the mountains and we have a good day at the same time. Then maybe, maybe, but he has been so strong. Yep, he has. Um, anyway, we are very, very safe when it comes to the Young Rider jersey. And we are pretty safe towards um, staying on the podium because we have now a minute on Alaphilippe. And here we are, the final stage. A minus one! Oh my god, Niklas! And this go- <laughs> Holy shit! This climb! What is this? Wow. It's just cruel. Uh, and a minus one definitely doesn't help us. That would have been a chance. Like, at a plus two, maybe we could have- We could have killed Kwiatkowski, but not, not like this. Ah, uh, anyway, uh, our helper is doing pretty well today. Well, that's good news. So the race has settled. Just four minutes on the clock. Uh, well, no. No, more than that. Uh, that's going down again. Okay, so four minutes on the clock for 11 escapees. And here we are. At the foot of the climb. <laughs> Head profile. Ouch. It hurts. So it is an average 9.2% for 18 kilometers. I think we need to grind it at 70. That might be the only way to go here. Okay. Um, or maybe 70, 72 to 75 somewhere. But definitely not higher than that because 18 kilometers. Uh, yeah, so um, let's move in there as one of the first. Yeah, just like this. I hope the others are going hard and attack and stuff, because that is always fun. So this is the only super, super steep bit. Beyond that, it is more modest and it falls down to uh, its average of like 9 point something. Well, I think we can up it now to 75, because it's only 14 kilometers left to go. The oh, really the road narrows. We We're still doing well. 10 kilometers to go. Uh, but so far it hasn't been all too harsh. We're a little stuck. We are a little stuck here. Let's try to push forward. That's too stuck for my taste. Come on, let me through. After all, I do want to keep the tempo up a little bit. I don't want to give them any time to recuperate. Oh, gravel! Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. That really helps. Although, uh, that doesn't mean anything. Well, the thing is, now it's not... It's not that far to go. We still have so much resistance. Maybe I should test them a little bit. There's seven kilometers left. Uh, okay. Let's continue 75. Oh, my helper is dying. Yeah, five kilometers left and he's gone. Okay. So maybe I should just slow down a little now. See how fast they are going. Not fast at all is the answer. But why? I don't, don't get it really. I can even recuperate. This is nonsense. Um, do they do anything? Where, where's Alaphilippe? Uh, yeah, it's Dumula is there. There's Alaphilippe. Okay, where's Kwiatkowski though? Oh, there. Hmm. Now he's blocked by Lopez, but uh, I think he might get out of there quickly. And I really don't want to place an attack because of how much that leeches. But oh, this is ridiculously slow. All right, short burst. Come on. Oh, no, it's not enough, is it? 
No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Oh, but there might be a little gap forming. Let's accelerate further. No, not really. Not really. 1.7 kilometers left. 28 riders. <laughs> we are so slow that we can't even lose 28 riders. Now 24. Okay. We're getting closer. One Watch kilometer out. left. A team leader is falling behind. And we are across the top. Almost. And still 24 riders in this bunch. Uh, that was the riders must a miserable. This downhill is known to be very dangerous. Oh, and Niklas has fallen. Niklas has fallen and taken. Uh, who, who who is not fallen? Okay, all the important ones have fallen. Yeah. Okay. Come on, get up. Get up, guys. Get up. Yes, okay, we're riding again. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so now we're almost at the bottom already. And... Oh, he's getting away, isn't he? Oh, he's a great downhiller. Um, a and we we don't have... We oh, four, four. Uh, we don't have enough resistance for this final climb. Uh, it's, it's not that long. Depends on how hard they are riding up this uh, half slope. Yeah, they're riding a lot harder than... I would like them to. There the climb starts. So seven kilometers left. And oh, who's going? Tim Valens. Okay, he wants another stage victory. No, the, that's Attacked impossible. Tim Why is he attacking? That's four minutes twenty. Four minutes twenty. Five Can't win anything there. Oh, how far back is he? Uh, he's in. Oh. He might be able to get into the top 10, maybe. That could be interesting for him. So, where's Kwiatkowski in this all of this? Because this is just 6 kilometers left. So, Tom Dumoulin is way, way down. Kwiatkowski is all the way down there. Uh, I, I mean, I would attack. Who, who's behind me? Uh, he, he's an attacker. Uh, I would attack. But six kilometers, that is not enough resistance for that. Uh, <laughs> that makes it a little hard. Mm. Let's trigger our bar now and wait a bit more. Maybe, oh, he's going. No, he's just accelerating slightly. Oh, Yates is going, Kvirkovsky is going. Okay, I need to go. I need to go. 90. Oh, wait, I, I grind it out. Rather than I grind it out. So let's not overdo it. 75. Or rather, 80 should be possible. And then we will get them back. Hopefully. Yates has gone. Oh, Kwiatkowski is going. He's going. But now I have a strong face with my, uh, my bar. Hmm... Can't really drain it that quickly though. Yeah, no, that doesn't make it any better. Uh, let's go 90. Let's go 90 for a moment. Attack by Tim Valens. Oh! Gaudu's going! Gaudu's going! I can follow. Oh shit, my my blinky bottle is blinking. Still 3.4 kilometers left. I, I can't go faster than this. This is ah, uh, this was too hard already. Need to calm down a bit, so otherwise my resistance is just burning up in, in flames. It's in flames already. Who's this? Uh, another climber. Go go go, let him go. In the end, he found the resources to. All right, Alaphilippe is there. Kwiatkowski is there. They are moving hard, but I can't move harder than this because my resistance is empty. Empty, empty. Ah, yeah, he's just going. He he's just way. going. Alaphilippe is thick-legged, I believe. Uh, how steep is this? It's not all too steep, so I guess I can go a little harder. Not too hard, though. 
Uh, where's the finish line? I'm almost empty. Almost empty and... and Niklas is dehydrated. He can't sprint anymore. And there we go. Whew. Uh, that sure was another strong showing by Niklas, but it's just not enough. Just not enough. Did he get even more time? Yeah, he did. Again, half a minute. Holy shit, he's so strong. But Alaphilippe did lose quite a bit of time, if I see that correctly. Uh, stage results, was he in the group here? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there he is. There he is, one minute, basically. Well, what a race. What a damn race. Final stage incoming. And this one should be fast. 181 kilometers. A minus two to round it all off. Well, we just need to make it to the finish. Now the race has come down. Six riders up front, three minutes on the clock. Rainy, rainy day. Which could spell trouble for the favorites. Ten kilometers to the finish line. All right, ten kilometers like left. Dust, and... Uh, I think Alaphilippe is getting ready to area. defend his jersey. <laughs> Not that anyone could reach him. There he is. Alright, five kilometers and trigger the bar. Veggie bar, one last veggie bar in Italy. Spiced up with olive oil to give extra powers, but it hasn't helped so far. Oh. It is very windy all the way to the finish. Interesting. So, yeah, you need to be very well positioned. I'm just going to, to go. Keep going. Keep going. And the final sprint is off. The final sprint is off. Uh, come on. Come on, sprint, 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 Niklas. Sprint like a beast. Like a little beast. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Try, try to hang in there. Uh, that was a good sprint for being you, but uh, still. That was, right was not, not good enough. There we have it. Oh, we made it in front of Alaphilippe. <laughs> but Kwiatkowski was in the same group. Yay, we got the young rider achievement. Well, what a tour. What a tour. It was way too hard for Niklas. Not a chance against Dumoulin. Fuck me. Hey, right, let's have a quick look what the final standings are. 3 minutes 40 to Kwiatkowski. And then 4 minutes 35. How are we ever going to beat this guy? I mean... Hmm. Maybe if he's out of shape. But <laughs> he certainly wasn't for this one. But even in the time trial, like that, that was the, the main thing. I mean, we lost... Three minutes on him in the time trial. How? How is that even possible? With our stats. And we had, we had a good race day condition, plus two race day condition. Won the time trial. But that is the majority of the time. And I mean, uh, what more can you do than have 84 in time trial? Against this guy. And still lose three minutes on him. And what I don't understand with Kwiatkowski is, how the hell can he be that fast in the mountains? Do you also always have, like, plus three, plus four race day conditions? I don't know. Seemed like it, because otherwise his mountain stats wouldn't have been that high. I mean, he beat us in the mountains. And we have two base stats higher than him. As well as loads of more resistance, as you can see. Like, we should have handily beaten him in the mountains, in climbing. But that wasn't the case. In the big climbs, you were still always with us. So, um, I, s somehow I have the feeling that th there's something wrong with the calculations going on here. But I can't put my finger on what it is. Maybe somehow the hill stat is what is counting instead? I, I don't know. But then again, I mean, we have hill 75, then we should really die. As the Kviet uh, I would explain why Kvyatkovsky was so good. Oh, uh, why uh, Alaphilippe was so good with 84. Um, yeah, I mean, he has higher resistance than, uh, than Kwiatkowski. And the resistance is what, what makes them last in the mountain. Uh, Tom Dumoulin, obviously super strong in that regard. He didn't show one single weak day, if I remember correctly. 
We got some time on him via some strange little attacks towards the start of the Giro, but not beyond that. Alright, so sprint rating, Alaphilippe takes it home. Mountain rating, yeah, Tim Valens almost gets it. Um, oh, he must have been in... Oh, he's just 22. Okay, I think we are going to see more of him in, in future seasons. And the under-25s against Gaudu? Gaudu? Um, yeah, 12 minutes. Pretty solid. Probably most of it comes from the time trial. <laughs> and our team were not very successful. They sniped the uh, Richie. Uh, finished first Grand Tour. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We finished as a top three in our first Grand Tour. And you only give me 60 points for that. Really? And 46... <laughs> oh, Pro Cycling Manager, go home, you're drunk. This is ridiculous. But we know it's ridiculous. I, this is the case in... Uh, in all of the experience calculations, they are just completely bonkers stupid. Um, not balanced whatsoever. And um, that is why the best strategy to level up is actually uh, do very small, like short, three, two to five, let's say two to four day uh, stage races. That is the best way to level up because then you get for each stage you can get some experience and then you usually get a big bunch of experience at, at the end and uh, well let's see uh, so we finished third in the overall standings we were supposed to finish in the top five so this is just very good and gives us like 20 points or something what is missing is some kind of length multiplier for the tour so um, what you for instance could do like just game developers speaking here like I would approach this the following way um, you take a you make up your mind you define a base length for which the experience is supposed to work and let's say 20 points is the base 20 points is the base and you um, for for an average result and 40 is the the base for an excellent result or like the best you can get and and then you uh, have to define the base as five days of racing Okay, fair enough. Five days of racing. So what you do would be, for instance, the square root of the number of days of racing, which would be 21 here, I believe. Um, and divide that by five as the base number. So um, it would be 20 divided by five, which is right, 21. Yeah, I don't care. So four and then square root out of that. So that would be two. So whatever you you have here is then multiplied by two. And if you've just raced a short stage race, then it's just multiplied by one in that case. Um, and the base points would probably be have to be higher than 20 and 40, but that's just an, as an example. And you could do the same thing for all of these. For all of these. So that you have a length factor in there, which balances things out. So that you don't get ridiculous stuff like um, we see here. And for the classics, that of course would be cut, like um, because they are they are usually a little bit more challenging. Maybe there it should depend more on the prestige of the race instead. So that was interesting. We have one new jersey here, but man, that was that was a little disappointing, especially the time trial. I I can't get over it. I really can't get over it. All right, let's have a quick look at our calendar. We made it through our rest week and now we are back down to 16% tiredness, still 98% fitness. All very good. Tour de Suisse is starting out very soon. Let's have a quick look at training and races. So uh, we are there. Let's see. So made it out of here, break. And now we're there. Tour de Suisse starting. And then Ionica, uh, as well as the Swedish Championships, and then there's a load of nothing before Utah at our lowest form of the season, 94. Taking a bit of a break, just to reduce tiredness overall. 
Then another break after Utah. Um, supposedly down to just 20. I believe that's wrong. And then uh, we're already into La Vuelta. This race is looking like a bit of fun. Yeah, should be... Uh, we should be doing pretty well there. Oh yeah, we're even among the favorites. Okay, a plus one race day condition. Yeah, that's looking good. Plus three to hill. Whoa. That's strong. 98% fitness. That's very good. Uh, okay. Okay, this tiny little climb towards the end. And I hope that until then uh, a lot of smaller groups have formed. And what is our race strategy? 30 kilometers of worth of work. All right, let's uh, get started with something like that. All right, 100% complete objective. Awesome. We've only lost a little bit of stamina. He crashed oh, he's fuck. Up. Oh, that was a big crash. Oh, I hope it isn't too serious. And our leader's down. Apparently... Now they've started moving very, very hard. All right, um, it's fine so far. The climb is not long enough for all of that to really kick in. So we might be able to use it to save some energy. Still 122 riders in here despite them moving very hard up the slopes. Alright, now I'm just do moving dot 80 up there. I uh, still hope to get some water, but that might not happen. Seeing how high the pace is. Oh shit, yeah, we, it doesn't look like we're getting any more water. That's not good. Not good. There's only 31 riders remain in this group. Alright, I grab water for the team then. Come on, give it to me. What the fuck? Why is it taking so long? Go, go, go. Get back to the front. Ah, that didn't cost us much energy. It was mostly in the downhill or flat. That's all good. Does everyone have everything? Yep. Okay, final climb. Um, Do we want to turn the screw here? Let's see. He says that we should. He's looking fresh too. So, uh, let's do it. Let's turn it up to 90. Yeah, that is a very good pace. Well done, sir. But you look quite dead right now. So how about I take some burden off of you and actually attack... Well, no, 16.5 kilometers left. That's, that's too far to time trial. That's way too far to time trial. Now, yeah, just 16 riders left. We're moving hard. Oh, interesting. This is the last 9 kilometers. We're going very slowly right now. Is that just because of the corner? Uh, it might be for other reasons. So, I could try and attack from here. Let's see. If we get enough tempo advantage. No, who's going? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't take him with him. Uh, stop, stop, stop. Don't take him. Oh, he's going. He's going. He's going. We are off. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, Nicholas, follow him. Follow him. Okay. Uh, how about you attack? Because he's, he's weak in the flat, isn't he? Yeah, he's weak in the flat. Go, go. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. We're off. We're off to better... To a better life. Um, we don't have that much in us. Let's see if we can stretch that. Why is he doing lead work? Come on, stop it, mate. Stop it, mate. That is not not nice. Yes, okay, good. 20 seconds. Uh, we do need our bar, of course. Just 15 seconds, 16 seconds, 12. No, that's not enough. That is not enough. They're coming back. I, I don't know why we are... Uh, look at this. Now, they, I think there's actually something broken here in the game. Um, 42 is not a speed they would move at if they're still reasonably fresh and give it all. They would be moving at like 48, 50 kilometers an hour almost. No, not almost. Uh, yeah, that's about the speed. So they're right behind me, I assume. Yeah, that's fucked up. Uh, that's completely fucked up. Uh, yeah, so... Slow down. Try to regain a bit. Try to regain a bit. Alright, we're moving around the corners. Uh, it's just one kilometer left, so uh, let's sprint from here. Who's gonna be the first to the line today? Sprint from here and we are empty. Yay! Bye-bye. 
Can you please win? No, you can't. Okay. A really powerful sprint. Thirteen. Ah, oh, beautiful. Not. Uh, twenty points. Okay, here we are. First stage of the Tour de Suisse. Ah, uh, that's looking pretty interesting. Um. So, who's the favorite? The uh, Ron Dennis. He's here. Whoa, yeah, his stats are pretty awesome. Uh, he might indeed take this. Objective win the stage, yeah, that won't be that easy. Not against these guys. Uh, and this is super steep. Can barely see it, but there's some black stuff in there. This is quite interesting. The downhill portion here seems to be so steep that you can't even reach basic levels of effort... Uh, that you need when you're powered out. So... More or less, we need to have wasted all energy at the top of this. Almost all energy. Okay, so strategy is 77 to start out with. And... Well, 76. And then use all kinds of power in the, in the climb. Alright, here the climb starts. So we need to head in there at... Uh, let's say 80-ish. Well, that's very steep. That is very, very steep. And the black section is still coming. I don't want to waste at all. Come on. Come on. Go, go, go. No, the black section, it's taking too much. And now we're across her. Uh, uh, continue at 80, maybe? This is very steep indeed. Yes, let's go 99. Give it all. Oh, this is looking good. This is perfect. This is so perfect. Go, go, go. And it could re-accelerate briefly. Yes. Oh, no! The junkie beat us! Pop junkie beat us! Ah, oh, well, it was close. It was pretty close. And the junkie, he's an excellent rider. Um... Yeah, um, let's take a quick look here at the coming stages. Uh, HC climbs, but I mean, there's nothing dangerous over here towards the finish, so I don't really care. Uh, puncher stage. And flat, and flat, and uh, not really dangerous. And another time trial, a big one. Interesting one. And, oh, yes, this one. <laughs> and this one. Uh, ouch. Ouch, two ouchy stages are coming in there. And yeah, alright. That's just giving us six points. What the fuck? Yeah, that is a lot of mountains. But it doesn't look that scary with this finish. Alright, this is for the next episode though. I hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time.